I mean, I know with Innocence, there's two new characters who showed up, but that's just them. They don't have much to do with anything, I feel like. And who knows, they were probably just there for the remake. But, um... Sorry if it gets kind of loud, I mean... I don't think it should matter, but I feel like with this one it's just a little louder than usual. Anyway. I like, I like Iria, or Ilya. Isn't it Iria? I mean, I call, Ru I call Ruka Ruka. I don't call him Luka. I call Kohawk Amber, but that's a different story. Um. Yeah, this game actually was very... It's definitely one of my favorites of the spinoffs, too. Because it has kind of everything that I really... You know. It was... It was it's good. Yeah. And it has a... A uh, lot of characters, and they all look really good. Like the characters who were in previous Rate Mythology games, they have redone. Some of them have redone models, and they just they look really good. Like you know, a uh, Stan and Kyle's hair doesn't look as blocky and kind of messy. They look kind of it looks better. <coughs> uh, Yuri and Estelle, they're done better because I mean. I heard that they recorded their lines kind of before um, Risperia came out was even like me. I think they were working on this like I don't know. But they kind of are not back to like the way they usually are with their little dealio. They're like the way you would expect them to be. And a meal as you're seeing right now. Or at least you should be. Um... You know, does the usual green eye to meal, where he's nice, red eye in battle, you know. Ein Sof Eye, or whatever the fuck it's called. He actually didn't say it. But, you know, it's the usual Hades from Saint Say and the Lost Canvas. <laughs> Once Shing comes up, I should probably... Yeah, I think I will. Because I've got Saint Seiya on the mind. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite anime franchises. But anyway. Uh, everyone... I mean, this game... The only the only other problem I would have is that the characters who have, like, two... A two-hit combo. I think it's really only Reed. I feel like in this one, they sh this should be, like, the opportunity to have, like... Use, like, updated versions of the characters. I'm aware that for Innocence... They kind of changed their style a little bit, but... And obviously, in Abyss's case, they have arts that they originally couldn't get without having, like, some sort of, like, phonon thing around, but they have them, and Reed has the arts that, like, you know, he has the Hell Pyre, and apparently... Oh, I don't know. I don't think he had... Well, he might have Severing Wind, but... Anyway. You know, he has those, and, you know... They've got the moves that they would usually have, and I think the whole art thing's done better, too. And Richter, who's probably one of my favorite Tales villains. Even though he's not really a villain. But, you know, and there's good old Yuri. Um, overall, I'd say this game is definitely good. If you haven't played one of the Rate Mythology games, I definitely recommend getting it, or at least playing it. You know, I think there's probably a patch for it, but usual it's probably just a menu patch because they're, they don't want to put the effort in translating the entire game. I know it would take a while, but really? And besides the menus, those aren't hard to figure out, people. I don't really understand why people like really have to have them. I mean, I know they help, but you don't really need it. Even if the game is pretty complex, which this game really isn't. You can actually play through this game without even using an FAQ. I got help for the puzzles, which there are a few, but that was, you know, just that. Help. 
you know. And again, I don't think it'll come out in English, so if you really do want to play, you know, getting it, buying it, you know, is probably the best thing. Though since it is fa relatively new, it is definitely kind of expensive, so. Yeah. It's kind of funny. This video took a while to make, and it's also taking long to record. <laughs> but, you know, it's nice to talk about. Stuff I'm kind of having to do a little bit of stream of conscious, though, but anyway. Overall, this game was really decent. I actually kind of play it sort of off and on. For me, playing the PSP is kind of like a little project kind of thing. It's almost, it's because I really like my PSP. So whenever I need a break, but I want to play Tails, this is usually the one I go to besides Eternia. You know, that's just me. Yeah, they get their coolio moves. Um, so yeah, this game I feel like does have a bit more replay value, in my opinion, because I'm always, for me, replayability is not just going back and playing it again. For me, it's also, you know, after I've beaten it, am I going to come back and play it again? For me, that's replay, because you literally are replaying it. I mean, I know the re the technical correct definition of replaying is, you know, replaying the entire game over. But for me, you know, I do come back to it. And I like to experiment with different Tales characters. You know, as usual, you can't like, I mean, obviously, you have to have your created character in your party. That'd be kind of crummy if you, ugh, if you couldn't uh, take them out, but... You know, that's Tails for you, I suppose. Um, it really is kind of... I don't know. So, I mean... I know there are mods to kind of take people characters out. And, they, and the Tails character actually will show up in place of your character create on the map. But, you know, depending on what gender your character is, they might look kind of funky. Like a mainly character like, um, uh, Will or Kratos or Flynn or Yuri walking like a girl. So, you know. This game, definitely very fun. Um, like I said, I do come back to it. It really just did everything, kind of... I mean, obviously, besides the, uh... Besides the, um... The fact that it's more of a hindrance to go out and, like, get all the characters. I feel like you should just get them over time. Even if you have, end up getting them in, like, little groups. And also, the, um... The fact that Reed has a two-hit combo instead of a three-hit. Because, again, I feel like the... Spin the crossover spinoffs should be a chance for the Tails characters to kind of um to have like updated versions and stuff. Asmel in particular is not even a really good character to use now that I've actually played him in Graces. He's not really the way he's done because he kind of has like a two hit kind of combo thing, but it's like Lloyd where it's technically three, but the second and third hits are done in like back to back. I mean, I get with that with that with Lloyd. You know, you kind of have to do that, but um, what's the word with um, Asbel? It'd be more beneficial for him to have his second and third kick, his second and third attack. You know, the two kicks be kind of splittable, and you know, kind of. I don't know. You'd have to actually play to for it to make sense, but. I think we're nearing the end of the commentary, of this, not this com commentary, this part. Because I, you know, there's good old Posca Kanono, Rate Mythology 1 Kanono, and as you can see, she plays just like, she looks just like the way she did. At, both she, at best, she's just modeled a little differently, and her colors are better detailed, and she has a mystic art now, and her skit's different, but...
Absolutely. And there's the Radiant 2 Kanona, who hasn't changed at all. Of course, there was DLC. You could get their weapons. You could even get Soul Calibur and Soul Edge, which I actually can't use because my character doesn't use them. But it's still a nice touch. I think I gave one of them to Kanono. <laughs> Kanono using Soul Edge ain't that funny. But yeah, decent game, you know. Definitely worth getting, at least in my opinion. Probably, you know how it is. And this is my character, Rao. Yes, indeed. His name is Rao. He only's got three letters in his name. That means he's badass. But yeah. You know, the name just kind of came to me. I kind of have a trend with my uh, rating mythology characters where I give them a name that starts with R. First was Ryusei, second was Raito, and then the third one being uh, Rao. You know, as you can tell, his hair is more red, kind of closer to Radiant 1. I mean... It's a brighter red. It's not that duller kind of red that Radiant 1 had. But it's definitely more red than Radiant 2 where it was like fucking orange. I mean, I still looked at it as red hair, but... You know, and I guess technically in reality it was red hair. But... Um... You know, that's him. In order to make him look different from... My Radiant 2 character, Raito, because, you know, as you can tell, in the face, he looks pretty much the same. I gave him a, uh, I gave him a, uh, I gave him blue eyes instead of, um, green eyes like I did with Radiant 2. And that was my original plan, but then as I saw after, our, you know, he was basically looking the same. Because with these games, I try to kind of make a character that I would like to make, you know, a character that I like, but also one that looks kind of usual. Like in these kind of RPG, or I don't know. No, that's actually not true. But anyway, um, he, I decided to change him. I think, obviously, hair color and, um, you know, obviously, you know, his little different headband, you know, different. Yes, I'm deliberately not using the actual regular helmet, because I don't really like, when it comes to, you know, these kind, I don't know, I just don't really like and plus, this isn't like Skyrim or Dark Souls where, you know, having as much defense as possible is decent. But uh, anyway, you know, and plus he does have, you know, headgear, so. But again, it's not like Dark Souls where it really kind of does matter to have headgear. But, um, yeah. He's pretty coolio, I like to think. And I mean, obviously, the shape of, going back, you know, the shape of his hair is different, but that's the shape of his hair. Like, his hairstyle, at least, because, you know, obviously that would be different, but, you know, overall, I'm pleased with him. He's actually probably my favorite out of the characters I've created, yeah. Yeah, ma imagine that. My favorite created character in the Rate Mythology series comes from my favorite Rate Mythology game. So, you know, and like I said, the, the Swordsman class is once again quick and it's attacking, so it made him for, fun to play as. You know, I think he was even a little bit quicker too, which made him even more fun to play as because he felt more, it didn't feel like a pain to use it. Even though in Rate Mytho Mythology 1, I did put up with the Swordsman class a good bit. Or rather, I got used to it or something. But, Yeah. That's my guy. And with that, this is the end of the Raid Mythology 3 Final Thought video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Flamzeron, a.k.a. YouTube's Tosuke, signing out. See you later.